I mean, we've got people on the docket that owe over $5,000. I mean, that sounds unbelievable. How can somebody run up $5,000, but they can do it. And, uh, so anyway, it, it just seems like a, a unsurmountable problem for these people to get out of which is why Restore Hope comes in so handily because I can justify giving them credit on old fines if they go through the program and the program is good for them and it helps them and get some other things that they need and um, get some driver's license uh, and the career pathways they help them get a job. So it, it's just a, a great benefit um, because if we didn't have it, we we're just left with just these fines sitting in front of us, either pay it, go to jail or work it off. And um, I don't know about other places, but our jail is full mm -hmm. and misdemeanor city traffic people are the ones that get let out. And so everything that you're trying to do, if they know how to play the system, you know, they can get in there and get out and in and out and in and out. But in the meantime, that's where this 5,000 comes in because they're in and out of jail. It has done nothing to help them. We think we're just in a, a circle. They're in jail, they're out of jail. They don't come to court. Failure to appear is a $340 ticket. Then a few months later, the license gets suspended again. And that's a $100 reinstatement fee. So these people are just... I mean, it's, it's, they run it up. So, and I could not have done it on my own, asked her to go to Harbor House and have her come back in every 30 days and show me she's doing it. I've done that thing for years before you all mm -hmm. came into my courtroom. And it's just not, I would, I would say it's 10% as effective as what I get from being there with the program and with the people there. It's just remarkable. 